So I'm going to pray for you that when I pray for you, the yoke will be broken. Come, come, kneel down. Kneel down and pray for you. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke every devourer in your lineage. Amen. Every spirit of stagnancy. By the special anointing, by the calling of the Ghost upon my life, I break every. Amen. I come against them. They will not stand. They will not come to pass. Amen. In the name I of silence God. every devourer. You are set free. You are set free, my son. By the special anointing of God upon my life, I set you free. In the name of Jesus, go forth and shine. I have delivered you, and I await your testimony. Praise the Lord. Yeah, uh, thank you so much, uh, Yeah, we thank God for everything. Thank you so okay. much. We thank God. Okay, so I have a little token of appreciation. Oh, wow. Wow. Yes, sir. Okay. So, <laughs> thank, you. thank you so much. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> We will keep praying for you. Okay? I will keep praying for you. Thank Myself you so and my wife, we keep praying for you. I will keep praying for you. Thank you so much, Mama. Go for that. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank God you so much, sir. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. We so love you. Thank you so much. I love you, eh? Thank you so much. Me? Oh, the words of this. What just happened? I called the young man to pray for the young man. Only for me to shout, Jesus, you took over the prayer. What's the meaning of all this now? Why will you hijack my prayer? Bonnie, I did not hijack your prayer. When did I do that? The last time you prayed for the other young man, this one came. It is my turn now to pray for him. When did it become turn by turn? When you know that I am the general overseer of the church? What's the meaning of that now? Who put it on? Only there is fire in my body. I feel a lot of fire. And you're trying to kill my shine. You're trying to hide my lights. Only what is going on? What's the oh God of mercy? God of mercy. There is fire in your body. Eh? Now it has come to the father. I want to kill your shine. Me, your husband. That is exactly what you are doing. To give me mic in church, you cannot give me. Let me climb butter. No. Eh? Oh, God. God, oh, siate. No man will stop my shine. No man will hide my light. Okay, no man will hide your light. It came to the point now that the guy is so sick, you collected the check. What's the meaning of all this? Honey, I prayed for this guy in question. If you pray for the guy, you know that my authority. I Don't deserve give me the check. this check. You may be the pastor of the church, but you see, you get call, I get call. You get your call, I get my call, me. No man will stop my shine. You can't hide my lights. You can't now. Hey! Shut the back eye at all. Shut the back eye at all. Shut the back eye No! 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 What was it? No! What was it? I just had an encounter, honey. I saw Catherine Kuma. She gave me a mountain for my generation. She gave me a mountain for my generation. Ah, 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 this is the time. This is the time. Honey, calm down. Calm down. Don't worry. See, eh? I know you have received a mountain. Eh? Oh. Calm down. Let God do what he wants to do. No. No. Nobody will stop me. Honey, you can't stop me. You can't stop me. I'm not stopping you. Just calm down. You I need to born. pray. I need to pray. Lord, I receive it. I receive the mantle of my generation. And his souls are perishing. This is the time for revival. I receive the mantle, Lord. I receive the mantle of Ketrin Kuma. The revival is now. I receive the mantle, Lord. Use me or I die. Give me the mantle of Ketrin Kuma, Lord. Oh, I die. Pastor, I am tired. My wife does not submit to my authority. She keeps complaining. She wants to burn. She wants to do this. Fight me in the ministry. I'm tired. No, 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 no. That is not what is happening here. I have been commissioned by the Holy Spirit to take over territories. The Lord has called me into deeper dimensions. And my husband here is trying to dim my lights. 
He's trying to stop me. And I have said that no man, not even my husband, will stop me. When I got married to her, I didn't see this color. Eh? Now I married her, now I'm now a pastor, all of a sudden, she's dragging my cookie. What is new for this now? I am not dragging anything with my husband. Come to think of it, my husband has a ministry, yet he doesn't recognize me. He has not given me the microphone to preach. Is Ask microphone me. your problem? Olas, just peace calm. Is microphone, microphone your problem? Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Look at this little Kunku and his wife. He allowed the wife to shine. Look at her. Why can't you be like him? No man will stop my shine. No man will stop my mantle. No man. I have the Deborah's mantle on my head. I would have said into dimensions. You can't lock me in that local church. You cannot. Nations are open for me. Doors of international breakthroughs are open for me. I refuse to be held back. Madam, please calm down. I, I feel your fire. Yeah, please calm down. Please listen very attentively. When God gives you a call, when there's a call of God upon your life, the first principle as a woman is that you submit to your husband. Your husband is the head of his wife. It is scriptural. Listen, listen, just please calm down. When God also gives you a call, you should not be in a hurry to respond to the call. In fact, when there's a call of God upon your life, the first thing is a call for training. You need to undergo training and submission is one of it. Where your character is prone, your character is being trained for you to fulfill that call. You see, when people talk about the likes of Pastor Mildred, Pastor Kingsley Okongo, I laugh. Do you know how much that woman served her husband and is still serving? If you need to answer the call of God upon your life, you will need to serve. Serve in that local church that your husband is in before you want to serve the world. So you need to be faithful in little for God to give you more. It's scriptural. He that is faithful in little, more is given to you. And I know that you are burning, the fire in you is burning so high. I know, but born under his rulership, so you can rule your world, you can take over territories. And the scripture also said, stated, that the head of the wife is the husband, is the man. And the head of the husband is Christ. So born under your husband, so you can rule the world. Born under his rulership. So you can rule the world. And, and sir, the head of every man is Christ. Submit to Christ, the leading of Christ, so you can know the time to raise her, to take over her world. Thank you. Now is the time. Now is the time for me to take over nations, to take over territory. And like I said, no man will stop me. Not no counselor, not my husband. Even if it takes me to start my own church, I would do it. I would do it. No man will stop me, counselor. You can't stop me. I am of the Deborah's generation. There is a call upon my head. Souls are perishing. Radosi. Pastor Sir, well done. The Lord is indeed your strength. I marry. Hey family, family thank, thank you, you for, for watching, watching our, our video. video. Yeah, do well to subscribe on our YouTube channel, Facebook, and Instagram at the Windows for more videos. Yeah. You want to make a donation or you want to support our ministry, the account details are on the screen. Yeah. Thank you so much. God, God bless, bless you. you. Bye. Bye.